The greatest feature of Joomla is the thousands of add-ons available. These are called extensions and in this lesson you'll learn how to find extensions and how to install them. Joomla provides all the functionality you need for a simple site. But if you require some specific functionality, then you can often find what you need at the Joomla extensions directory. In this lesson, I'll take you through this directory and show you how to download and install an extension. To begin, head over to extensions.joomla.org. There are a number of ways you can search for extensions, but when you know what category you're after, it is easiest to browse through this listing. I'll install a photo gallery extension, so start by clicking the Photos and Images category. You might have to dig deeper by clicking on a subcategory. Then you'll see several choices, a brief description of each, and reviews and votes by other Joomla users. When you find something that sounds interesting, click on the title to learn more and download. Note that this particular extension is non-commercial, meaning it is free, but some extensions are only available at a cost. As there are multiple versions of Joomla, you need to check that the extension you want is available for your version of Joomla. Ensure that the appropriate icon, in this case Joomla 1.6, appears next to the compatibility label. Now click the download button which will take you to an appropriate page at either the developer's website or sometimes to a code library as is the case with this extension. You might need to work out which of the files listed is the right one, and with any luck the developer will provide some instructions. In this case, the first listing is likely to be the right one, as the package name at the left is Joomla 16, which will be the right one for Joomla 1.6. Click the file name to save it to your computer. At this point, you need to refer to any instructions by the developer, because like templates, extensions are sometimes installed using the initial file that was downloaded, or that file might need to be extracted first on your local computer. When the download page is a code library like this one, return to the listing at the Joomla extensions directory, and click the website link to view the developer's site. This will probably provide you with some instructions. In this case, the process is to install the file that was downloaded, as will be demonstrated now. Go to Administrator and log in. Go to Extensions, Extension Manager. Choose the file that was downloaded and click Upload and Install. Now you really do need to have a read of the instructions on how to use the extension. All extensions work differently and it's impossible to provide training on how to use all of them. However, there are some principles that you'll find helpful. Let's go ahead and use the extension that was just installed. There are three types of extensions and you control each one differently. The first is called a plugin and these are controlled within an individual article. The photo gallery extension that was installed is a plugin and the first step is to activate it and optionally change some settings. Go to Extensions, Plugin Manager. Look for the new extension you installed and click its title. Enable it by changing this drop down menu to Enabled. Then consult the instructions and decide if you need to adjust any of the options in the right column. Click Save and Close. Now let's return to the article that was created earlier.
Click within the article at the point where you want the plugin to function. Then refer to the extension instructions to determine what to write. In the case of this extension, you enter open curly bracket gallery close bracket and the name of the folder in Media Manager that contains the photos to be displayed. Let's save this for a moment and return to the Media Manager. Expand the Sample Data folder by clicking the title and then the Parks folder to reveal a folder called Animals. The reference that needs to be entered is sample data slash parks slash animals. Return to the article in Article Manager. Then after the gallery code, enter the name of the folder. Finish with open curly bracket forward slash gallery close bracket. Save the article and then go to your front end and have a look at it. You'll see that a photo gallery has been inserted in the article at the position where the code was added. The default settings display three images, with navigation links to the rest of the images in this folder. Clicking an image opens a larger version in what's called a light box. Another extension type is a module, as explained in the lesson on modules. These are managed by going to Extensions, Module Manager. Plugins work inside an article, whereas modules are placed into positions in your template. The last extension type is Components, and these tend to be more complex. As such, they live under their own menu here. Components often have several aspects to their functionality, and these might be broken into pages with submenus. The resulting content from components may appear in the main part of the page or inside a module. Also note that when you install an extension, you might end up with a component, several modules and plugins. Once again, refer to extension documentation for more details. You now know how to find an extension, install it, as well as the three different types of extensions. In the final lesson, I'll wrap everything up and give you some hints on where to go from here. Joomla is constantly being updated and new exciting extensions are released all the time. Our Joomla Pro course never ends as we are always adding new tutorials to the library. Make sure you keep up to date with our Joomla Pro course. We want to make sure your Joomla experience is a success both now and into the future. Learn more about how we can help you by heading over to the website now. You'll probably find a link or button somewhere on this page, so click that, head over to the site, and go to the Joomla Pro page.